What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 31 in the 7th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. Now this question is just asking us to describe the value of m if all we know is that negative 5 times m plus 1 is going to be less than or equal to 23. So this deals with inequalities. And we will also end up using the distributive property. So distributive property and solving inequalities, that's what we'll need to know to do really well in a question like this. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I say the distributive property not because it's the only way to solve this, but because I personally believe it's the easiest way. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of my small markers to distribute my negative 5 to everything inside my parentheses. So negative 5 times m will just give me negative 5m. Negative 5 times positive 1 will give me negative 5, which I'll write as minus 5. And I know that all this still has to be less than or equal to 23. So we haven't really changed anything about this yet. But at this point, we need to go ahead and solve this like it's an equation. Uh, there's going to be one wrench, one curveball that this um, that this problem throws in near the end, but we'll, we'll get there. First thing I want to highlight is that this is a two-step equation. So we'll have to get rid of our negative 5, and then we'll have to get rid of our minus 5. Um, and the order in which we're going to get rid of those, we're actually just going to go ahead and think of it like socks and shoes. Now, I've used this analogy before. If you get home and you have your socks on and your shoes on, um, you're going to have to take your shoes off first unless you're extremely talented. And whenever I would uh, say this in class, I'd have at least one student who tried to actually take off his socks inside his shoes. Uh, none have succeeded so far, but you're welcome to go ahead and try it. Um, but either way... We're going to have to take off our shoes first before we take off our socks. And shoes, I'm representing, or I'm using to represent this minus 5 that's over here on the end. So we need to get rid of minus 5 first to make the problem as easy as possible. So the opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. Minus 5 and plus 5 go away. 23 plus 5 is going to get me 28. So I know that negative 5 times some number just has to be less than or equal to 28. Don't know why I wrote that weird. But now we can get rid of our negative 5 by dividing by negative 5, and this is the curveball that this throws in. So I'm going to come down here and demonstrate exactly what we're going to have to do. Let's say that I know that whatever my variable is, and that's what I'm calling x to, so we can see that it's different, it's more than negative 2. Now, negative 1 would work as an answer to this. 0 would work as an answer to this. 1 would work as an answer to this. 2 would work as an answer to this, and so on and so on and so on. Um, but the trick is, if I take this negative sign and I move it over, or I divide or multiply by negative 1 in some way, then I actually have to take this um, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to sign, whichever one it is, and change its direction. So this would actually give me negative x is going to be more, or is going to be less than 2. And if we test out a couple examples, we'll see that the same numbers are going to work. Um, if I plug negative 2 in here, it's going to give me the same thing on both sides, which won't really work because this is greater than or less than, and I don't have the equal to part. Um, anything more than that, like negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and so on, will still work. So the idea is that if we divide by a negative number, such as negative 5, negative 5 divided by negative 5 cancels, and we're left with m on the left, negative 28 fifths on the right, but in the middle, this thing was, it was a less than or equal to sign. It was pointing left. Now we have to change its direction and make it point right so that this is greater than or equal to negative 28 fifths. And the answer that matches that is choice A. So again, the biggest part of this problem is remembering that when you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number in order to get rid of that negative or get rid of this coefficient, you need to actually also change this sign so that it's now facing in the best direction. 
because if you forgot that, you would have picked choice B as your answer, and that's one of the trick answers. Like I said, North Carolina loves to throw those in, and that's not what, and that's not what we're looking for. 